Canada's last veteran of World War I passed away here in Spokane yesterday. John Babcock was just a couple of months shy of his 110th birthday. He'd been homebound since catching pneumonia last fall. When he was just 16 years old, he lied about his age and joined the Canadian Army. When they called for volunteers of 40 men to go to the RCRs, that's the Royal Canadian Regiment. Well, I volunteered. Afraid? No, I wasn't smart enough to be afraid. <laughs> Babcock never made it to the battle lines. He sailed to England, but by the time his training was complete, the Great War was over. In the Roaring Twenties, he moved to the United States, joined the U.S. Army, and served for three years. He then left the military behind, becoming an electrician, eventually starting his own business here in Spokane. Canadian Prime Minister Stephen Harper issued a statement yesterday calling Babcock's passing the end of an era. Quote, as a nation, we honor his service and mourn his passing. Babcock will be cremated and ashes scattered in the Pacific Northwest Mountains. His passing leaves behind two other known World War I veterans, American Frank Buckles and British national Claude Schulz, who lives in Australia.